Let's continue our investigation of simple Excel-like plots. In this session, we will create a scatter plot. Sticking with the baseball theme, it would be interesting to see what kinds of teams have larger crowds in attendance. We can pull the data from this site and save it into a text file. As always, we start by importing packages that aren't included with the Python standard library so we can access their data and functions. Then, we'll load the comma-separated data file we created into a pandas data frame to make it super quick and easy to select exactly the data we want. In this case, we just need to call read CSV with the file name, and the default parameters in pandas will magically do the right thing. Now, we create our scatter plot. For the simplest plot, we just create an empty figure using the subplots function and then pass in the x and y values to the scatter function to create the plot. That was easy. Let's add titles so it's clear what each axis represents. The x-axis shows the total number of people who attended a team's games for the year. The y-axis shows a cumulative annual team salary. Also, let's add a title to the plot itself. Let's run that and there you have it. It does look like the higher paid teams do tend to have larger crowds on average. So far, we've made a pretty basic scatter plot. Let's try something a little more advanced to showcase some of the power and flexibility Matplotlib offers. We can make the plot more informative by using the size and color of each dot to represent the number of all-stars on a team. And there it is. It would also be helpful to have a key to indicate what the colors are conveying. We can easily add a color bar. To do that, type this. Nice, that helps a lot. Now we can see that the color and size of each dot represent the number of all-stars on the team. This plot looks pretty good. There's a lot going on here and it was done very simply using pandas and matplotlib. So, let's work through a few more refinements to get the image just the way we like. Looking at this plot, I find the tick values on the x-axis to be hard to read. Let's fix that. Panda's compact array syntax lets us easily divide the x and y values by a million. Let's remember to add something to the x and y titles so that the viewer will be aware of the change. Let's execute those changes and... There we go. Finally, let's do something a little crazier. Let's add the team names so that they float next to their respective point on the plot. To do that, type this in. Wow, that's pretty nice. And one last thing. Let's change the plot style from default to ggplot. And let's run that. And bam! Or actually, home run. A really nice looking customized plot ready to use as you see fit. So, what did we find out? Well, it does seem that on average the teams with higher salaries also have higher attendance. Also, the teams with more all-stars do tend to be among the higher salary and those with higher attendance. Although that's not universal, look at the Angels and the Yankees. We might want to dig in and do some more analysis to find out what's going on there. The great thing about Python is you don't have to switch tools to do that. You have the full power of Python and its scientific libraries right at your fingertips. So you can move from cleaning your data to analysis to plotting and back again seamlessly. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the subscribe button to get more of our tiny tutorial videos.